Aloha everyone! Today we're going to be talking about blue light blocking glasses and if they're actually necessary for your kids. So if you're interested in learning more, stick around. Aloha everyone! I am Dr. Rupa Wong. I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist and mom to three kids. That's my youngest daughter right there. I also have two boys, an eight-year-old and an 11-year-old. So I am getting all these targeted ads that are going towards parents that protect your children's eyes, prevent long-lasting eye damage, and advocating the use and the purchase of blue light blocking computer glasses. So is this something you actually need to spend money on? So we're gonna investigate some of the science and the studies behind why these companies are advocating blue light blocking glasses to preserve your kid's vision. Because of course, as any parent would wanna do, you wanna protect your child's vision. So as a mom, I've been noticing all these kids popping up on my children's Zoom sessions wearing glasses. And these are kids that I know normally don't wear glasses. So I know these parents have been buying the blue light blocking glasses. I've been getting tons of texts from my friends, messages from all over asking if it's real, is there any benefit, and which companies I would recommend. So we're gonna investigate all of that right now. So first, blue light blocking glasses. I wanna start with saying they do not prevent nearsightedness in kids. I think there is this mistaken notion with distance learning and all the time that children are gonna be on their devices that it's somehow going to halt the negative effect of doing all this near screen time. It's not. The near work can lead to nearsightedness and the blue light blocking glasses are not going to do anything about it. Being nearsighted or myopic is basically a result from genes and excessive near work. So things like screen time, reading, writing, all of that. Blue light blocking glasses are not gonna do anything for that. There have been no studies to publish that have shown that, but I think there, that's a misconception that a lot of parents have, that they're protecting their children's eyes by hopefully preventing them from being nearsighted, and that's just not true. Okay, so let's get into what is true with the blue light blocking glasses. So blue light from devices can cause suppression of melatonin, but guess what's got a ton of blue light that we don't really talk about? the sun, and here in Hawaii, lots of sunlight. So the sunlight is responsible for the majority of the blue light, and much more so than is being emitted from your devices. And that's why the sun is really responsible for your circadian rhythms and melatonin production. So when you are doing a lot of device time, especially at night, it can cause suppression of the melatonin and that can have a lot of negative consequences. It can make it much more difficult to go to sleep. It can make you much more tired in the morning. So that's why the recommendation is that you stop any digital device time, even including Kindles, any of that, two hours before you go to bed at night. I know, that's a hard one to do. So not only have they found that it suppresses melatonin, but they looked at a study where they had participants read electronic books versus regular books. And they found the group that read eBooks had a much more difficult time going to sleep. They had decreased melatonin secretion and they had much less awakefulness the next morning. So if you're a parent of a child, you can see why that's going to be very harmful for your, for your child to experience the next morning. They can't get out of bed. They're just not as with it. They are feeling more fatigued and tired. And it's not just from staying up at light. It's actually from the blue light causing suppression of the um, melatonin. So the circadian rhythm and the melatonin and the blue light definitely has been replicated in studies. And so I do recommend um, that children watch out for that. But that being said, on most iPhones and most devices, there's a dark mode or a blue light mode as well. So you could use that, but I recommend just two hours before not using it at all. So the second common reason that most people want to get blue light blocking glasses for the children is for eye fatigue, eye strain, headache, computer vision syndrome. Blue light blocking glasses are supposed to be helpful for that. But the data is very mixed. Some studies have shown a beneficial effect in decreased eye fatigue and eye strain, and some showed no effect at all. Personally, I like the blue light blocking glasses for myself, but again, for children, nothing has been demonstrated. And you have to weigh this with the consequence of putting on blue light glasses for your kids. 
you know, if it's not studied in children, there could actually be harmful effects of blocking so much blue light from your children. Sunlight has the most blue light around, and there have been many, many studies which have shown the beneficial effect of sunlight on children's eyes and their vision in decreasing their nearsightedness. So it's possible by wearing the blue light blocking glasses, you might actually be doing some unintentional harm to your child. Again, not studied, but we just don't know. So why do people think that blue light blocking glasses are helpful at preventing all of these eye diseases? And why are we being told that we need to buy them for our children? So there were a few studies done that looked at particular retinal cells and exposing them to very high levels of blue light. And they were done in rats and in mice, not in humans. And that's the difference. So they caused cell death in the retinas of these mice and these rats. But again, at a level of blue light that is just not found for years and years and years, ten, you know, over your entire lifetime, it would not be found from digital devices or even from the sunlight. So it's not quite applicable or translatable to humans. There have been no studies that have really shown in humans that blue light is going to cause cataracts, glaucoma, or macular degeneration. Those are the things we're worried about. Now, there's a difference between blue light and ultraviolet light, and ultraviolet light has been shown to cause cataracts, macular degeneration, etc. But that's not the same thing as blue light. So you have to be really careful. Those, those claims, very unsubstantiated. And so basically, when you were looking at whether or not to purchase these blue light glasses for children, I have three kids, they don't wear glasses right now. I do not recommend as a pediatric ophthalmologist for my own children or for my patients that they wear blue light blocking glasses even for distance learning, even given the fact that they're gonna be on our device eight hours a day, which is much more than the Academy of Ophthalmology or the American Association of Pediatric Ophthalmologists and Strabismus recommend. So even given that, I would not recommend the blue light blocking glasses if your child doesn't wear glasses at all. Now, if your kid is nearsighted or has astigmatism or is farsighted and you want to get the blue light, you know, put onto it, it's fine. You can get the same effect by going to the blue light mode on your computer screens, but some people just want that extra effect. And for the most part, I'm all right with that. But again, not studied, so I can't say for sure. I can tell you that I am not putting my children in blue light blocking glasses and not recommending it because most kids hate wearing glasses and I can't even get a lot of my patients to wear their glasses when they really need to be in glasses. So it's not something that I routinely recommend, nor is it something that any ophthalmologist or our academy of ophthalmology routinely recommends in the US. So to review, do blue light blocking glasses prevent nearsightedness or myopia in your kids? No. Do blue light blocking glasses help with sleep initiation and circadian rhythm regulation? Yes. Do blue light blocking glasses help with eye fatigue, eye strain, headache? Possibly, data's mixed. Do blue light blocking glasses help prevent cataracts, macular degeneration, and glaucoma? No. If you choose to buy the glasses for your kids and they like them, don't worry about it. It should be okay, but again, not studied. All right. I, I love those glasses, by the way. I've tried them on before. I know, she really loves wearing any kind of glasses. She thinks it's a fashion accessory. She wants just plain glasses, but I tell her no. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye! Hit the bell button. Uh, comment down below if you liked this video. And comment below if you wear blue light blocking glasses personally, or if you have your child in them, what's your experience been like? I'm really interested to know. And push the bell button.